Hello and welcome to Cheetah Coding. So this is officially part two of my Redux series. And in part one, I covered how to use Redux on a very basic level. I covered the reducers, actions, the connect function, um, and the store itself. So in this video, I want to cover the hooks that are built into Redux. So if you're not using hooks yet in your app, you should be. So Redux has a lot of very helpful hooks that are built into the app. I'm going to cover a couple of the hooks that will make your app a lot easier to read and maintain. So let's get started. So this is the code from part one of my Redux series. I've changed the code a bit since I've uploaded that video. I've added the React Navigation 5 before I was using version 4. And I also added my logo here to the home screen. So first let's go to the food form screen here. And as you can see here, we have a class component with some state here that I created before. And if we go down here, you can see we have our map state to props and map dispatch to props. So from part one, map state to props is how you actually get your store data inside of your component. And map dispatch to props is how you call an action on your store. So here's the food reducer. So we have our add food action and we have our delete food action. And for the reducer, we add food via concat here. And for the delete food, we use the filter method for the array to delete the item based on the key. Okay. And in the index.js, we have our store here. So this part is not going to change. We're not going to change the actual store setup part here. We're going to focus just on the screens. We're going to focus on the food form first. So let's go up here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to get rid of our class component here. Let's do constant and equals. Okay, and I'm doing this because we cannot use hooks in class components. Let's get rid of this and I'm going to get rid of our state here. So our state is how we actually store our food for this form here. But now I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to use our use state hook. So I'm going to say constant food. So I'm assuming that you know how to use the use state hook in React. And then say set food equals use state. And then this will just be an empty string. So I'm going to set our food as a string. So before we were using this dot state. So let's just change this to food now. And let's change this to set food. And now this is not an object now. So let's get rid of these brackets and just set the food string directly and get rid of this dot state here and get rid of this dot state. Say set food, get rid of the brackets, and set it to null here. Actually set it to string because we are using a string for our food now. Okay. So let's go up here. This should be equals. Let's get rid of our render. Okay. So now this is a stateless component or a uh, functional component, I should say. So before we were using the map dispatch to props. So we're not actually going to use the foods item on the screen. So I'm going to get rid of this map state to props here. So for map dispatch to props, we were setting the food in our store when we press the submit button here, right? So we had the dispatch function with this food action here. Okay. So we can simplify this by removing this entire block now. And up here, I'm going to import something called use dispatch. So use dispatch is a hook that's built into React or built into Redux. And we can go down here and we can say constant dispatch. You can name it whatever you want to equals use dispatch. Okay. And this will allow us to dispatch an action. Okay. So I'm going to actually create the action now. So down here we named it add. Now I'm going to change it to something more descriptive. I'm going to say constant submit food equals food. So we're going to pass in our food and then I'm going to pass that into the dispatch function. So it'll be dispatch and then we'll use our action from up here. So we have add food. 
So we have add food, and then we pass in the food. Okay, so we replace this entire block here with this line. Okay, so let's use this now. So we have submit food. So let's replace our add down here. So this .prof add. So now we can just say submit food, food, and that's it. Pretty simple. So you can see here we're using this .prof navigation. So let's get rid of this. And now I want to take my navigation from the props field here. So let's take that from the props up here. So let's say navigation. I'm just doing it this way so we don't have to say props navigation. Okay, let's save. Let's check to see if we're not using props anywhere else here. Okay, so since we're using the dispatch now, so we can actually get rid of this entire connect line here. So let's get rid of connect. And up here, we can take that out and remove this too. So as you can see, this is a lot cleaner. It's a lot easier to read. Uh, it's easier for people to understand, hopefully. So we replaced the map dispatch to props, the connect higher order component, and the state block with these three lines here. So I hope that you can see why this is a lot better um, than not using hooks. So let's actually test that this still works. Let's put in pizza, submit, pie, submit, say rice, let's go to food list, and I can see pizza, pie, rice. Our delete stuff is on the next screen, but we can test it now. We can say delete pie, go back, go back to the food list, and pie is gone. Okay, so let's go to the food list now. And now we have map state to props and map dispatch to props, both. So now we'll follow a little bit of the same procedure. We will change this to a functional component. So we'll say constant equals, and for this, we'll get rid of the navigation options for React navigation. Let's get rid of the render here. Okay, we don't need the navigation object for this. So first, let's look at the map dispatch to props. Let's remove this for now. And I'm going to go back and copy the dispatch. So put that up here. And then I'm going to import that in our React Redux. So let's say use dispatch. And then we're going to follow some of the same procedure that we did for the previous screen. So we're going to say, I'm going to call it delete current. So I don't want to call it the same as our action up here. We'll say delete current equals, we'll pass in the key. So the key is just the index of the list item. So key equals dispatch, and then we'll pass in our action. So delete food, and we'll pass in our key. So if you don't know what our actions are, let's go to the action file. So we have our add food action and our delete food action. So we have the type add food, type delete food, we pass in the food for the add food action and the key for the delete food action. And our types are just constants here. I like to keep all this stuff separate. I'm a very big fan of uh, keeping things in a separate place so it's easier to manage. Okay, so back to our food list. The last thing we need to do is we need to handle our map state to props here. Before, we were taking our food list from our reducer, so we have food reducer dot food list because that's our state here and we put it into a foods array so let's get rid of this since we're using hooks now and let's go up here and we're going to add a new hook called use use selector oh and before i forget let's get rid of our connect here so let's get rid of connect get rid of all this here and just have food list so for our use selector we're gonna have constant foods equals use selector. So use selector allows us to select a piece of our state. So it takes in the state itself. So the entire state goes here and we can get a piece of our state by saying state dot food reducer dot food list. So pretty much the same as before. This should be lowercase food list. 
So it follows a similar pattern as down here, but it's just less boilerplate code. Okay. So we put that food list date instead of this object here, foods. So now down here, instead of this.props.foods, we'll just have foods. And now let's use our delete current object here. So for delete, we can get rid of this.props and just say delete current, pass in our data.item.key. And that's it for the food list. So let's save and we can get rid of these now. And as you can see, that's a lot less code. It's a lot cleaner. We have our use dispatch to dispatch our actions. We have our selector to select our foods. And then we put that into the list and that's it. So let's type in some food. Let's say curry, noodles, and let's say cheese, and hamburger, submit. Let's do one more. Let's say ice cream, submit. Okay, and let's go to our food list. And we can see that this works fine. So we have our food list from our selector. Let's delete hamburger and noodles. Let's go back, go to food list. And I can see we have curry, cheese, and ice cream. So yeah, I wanted to kind of show you a very easy way of using hooks in your Redux application. Redux can definitely be confusing for those people that are new to it, but this makes it a lot easier to understand. So definitely use hooks in your Redux app if you can. Um, you should be using hooks as much as possible. I'm going to be doing more videos on Redux in the future, I think. So uh, this is part two. There will definitely be a part three. So stay tuned for the next video and happy coding. Bye. Bye.